Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we're going to start designing this home page. Now in the first video, I'll show you how to design it using Figma. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to convert it to a real website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in this web page, we can see we have some hover effects for all of these menu items. And we also have some hover effects for these two buttons. And then here we have this button to switch to the dark mode. So if I click on this button, we can see that the website has changed to a dark mode. And now here we have this light mode switch. So if I click on this button, we get taken back to the light mode. So let's get started. Alright, so here I have created a new file in Figma and I just named it homepage with dark mode. So first of all, let's create a frame. So let's click on this button and let's click somewhere over here. And let's set the width to 1366 and the height to 768. Now in this frame, we will just store the colors. So I'll just rename this to colors. And let's create one more frame. So we can just press Alt and drag it down. And here we can see we have one more frame. Now let's rename this to light mode. Alright, let's start with the colors. So I'll just create a rectangle. And uh, I'll just set the height and the width to 200. You can just press this constraint proportions button and uh, just type 200 over here and it will change the height and the width and I'll also change this border radius to 8 alright now let's add some colors over here so let me write the hex code of the first color that we're going to use so I'll just select this fill and I'll just type 023047 so this is going to be the first color let's duplicate this so I'll just press alt and uh, drag this over here and for the next color we will type F1 F A E E now we cannot see the color clearly so I'll just select both of these and let's add a box shadow. So here in the FX I'll just click on plus. So here we have selected drop shadow and let's change the effect settings. And let's change some of these values over here. Let's change the Y to 8. Let's change the blur to some higher value. And I'll just decrease the spread a little bit. Right, I think that looks alright. So let's copy both of these and I'll just duplicate it over here. And let's add two more colors that we're going to use. So the third color is 01141D. And then the last color is FD5E5E. Right, that's it with the colors of our design. Right now let's go to our light mode and let's start designing this. Now the first thing we need to have is the logo. So let's select the text. And I'll just click somewhere over here. And let's type GT coding. And we're going to use a font called Poppins. So let's go over here to text and I'll just change this to Poppins. And we'll change the weight to bold. And we'll change the size of the text to 20 pixels. Right, this is going to be our logo. And let's also change the color of the text. So let's go over here to fill and I'll just select our last color over here. Right now let's position it correctly. So I'll just position it 40 pixels from the top. So you can press Alt and you can see the position right now. So right now it is 72 pixels from the top. So if I press the up arrow, it will go up. And if I press Shift and up arrow, it will go 10 pixels to the top. Now we can see we are 40 pixels from the top. And from the left, we will have a position of 100 pixels. All right now let's create the menu items. So I'll just duplicate it over here to the right. And the first menu item we're going to have is blog. And we'll just change the font size to 18 pixels. And we'll just change the color to this color right here. Right, let's duplicate this and uh, let's bring it over here and uh, let's type about. And we will have 70 pixels of spacing between these menu items. So I'll just select this and uh, if I press Alt, we can see there is 103 pixels of spacing. So let's bring it down to 70 pixels. And let's drag it to the right and uh, this one is called Downloads. And then after that we have a contact button. So I'll just drag it over here to the right. And I'll just type contact. Now this is going to be a button. And uh, we can create a button by just creating a rectangle and uh, adding this text inside the rectangle. This is one way of creating a button. But uh, there's a new feature in Figma called Auto Layouts. So we're going to use that to create the button. So let's delete this rectangle and let's click on this button and you can right click over here and select add auto layout or just press shift A 
And now we can see that auto layout has been added. And let me just add a background color so that we can see. So here for the fill, I'll just click on plus and I'll just select uh, this dark color over here and I'll just change the color of the text. So let's select the text and I'll just change the color to the light color. So I'll just select this one right here. Now the benefit of using auto layout instead of the rectangle is that you can go ahead and add more content over here. For example, if I just type contact me, we can see that the rectangle of the button changes the width according to the content. So in this way, you can just copy and paste this button and add any text and it will adapt to that text. Now here on the right, we have some options that we can change. So let's select this auto layout. And here we can see there's an option to add the padding around the items. So I'll just delete 10 from here and I'll just add my own padding. We'll just add a padding of eight pixels for the top and bottom. And here I'll just add a comma and for left and right, we will have a padding of 32. Now let's press enter. And now we can see we have the correct padding for this button. Let's also add a border radius. So I'll just change corner radius to eight pixels. And now we have rounded corners. All right, now let's set the spacing of this button to 70 pixels. All right, that looks all right. Now we need to add some images over here. We need to add the dark and the light switch. And we also need to have a hero image. So I have downloaded some images over here. I just select all of this and drag them over here. Right now, let's select this uh, dark switch from here. So I'll just select the parent. Right now, let's uh, bring uh, this dark switch inside the light mode frame. So I'll just drag it over here and uh, I'll just bring it to the top. And here between this button and this uh, dark switch, I will have a spacing of 42 pixels. So I'll just bring it over here. Now let's bring this light switch over here into the light mode. And let's drag it here with this dark switch. And it shouldn't be inside this uh, dark switch. So let's drag it and bring it outside. Now both the light and the dark switches should have the same position. Right now in the light mode, we don't need to display this light switch. So I'll just set the opacity to zero. And I will also move it 16 pixels to the top. So here in the Y, I'll just type minus 16. Now you can see that the light switch is 16 pixels to the top. Now when we are on the dark mode, we're going to bring this down and set the opacity to 100. And we're going to set the position of this dark switch to 16 pixels to the top and also set the opacity to zero. But right now we are designing the light mode. So this is how it looks right now. And we'll also change the color of this uh, switch to the color that we have selected. So I'll just select this dark color. Now I'll just select all of these menu items and I'll just group them. So I just press Ctrl G and we'll just rename this to menu items. And now let's select all of these and uh, I'll just shift it to the right so that we'll have 100 pixels of spacing between the edge and uh, these elements. So let's just shift all of these to the right. All right, that's it with the menu items. Right now, let's bring this hero image inside our frame and I'll just position it somewhere around here. Right now, let's add the heading, the subheading and the buttons. So I'll just duplicate this uh, logo from here and bring it down and we'll just rename this to learn web design for absolutely free. And let's change the font size to 60 pixels. And we'll change the line height to 120%. So I'll just type 120% over here. And let's set the color to the dark color. So I'll just select this. And let's select our dark color from here. Right now let's create the subheading. So I'll just duplicate it. And we'll just set the font size to 20 pixels. And I'll just change the font weight to regular. And I'll just copy the subheading from here. and paste it over here. Now we will add a line break over here. And for this, we will set a line height of 170%. That looks all right. And let's line it up correctly here on the left. We need to have 100 pixels on the left. And here at the top, we will have a gap of 18 pixels. Right now we need to have two buttons over here. 
So I'll just copy this from here. So I'll just select this and press Ctrl C. And here outside, I'll just press Ctrl V. And I'll just bring it over here. Now for these buttons, we will have different padding. So I'll just go over here to the padding around items. And I'll just change this to 12 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And from the top, we will have a spacing of 42 pixels. And this button has a text of enroll now. And let me just duplicate this and bring it over here. And we'll have a spacing of 42 pixels from the left button. And for this, we'll have a text of learn more. Now this is going to be a light button. So for the text, I'll just select the dark color. And for the background, I'll just select the light color. And we'll also have a border for this button. So I'll just select stroke and I'll just click on plus. And here, I'll just select the dark color that we have. And we'll also have some box shadow. So let's click on plus here on the effects. And here, I'll just add some values. And I think that looks all right. All right, now we need to add the same box shadow to all the other buttons. So I'll just click on this button and I'll just select this effect from here. And I'll just press Ctrl C and select this button over here and press Ctrl V. And now we can see we have the box shadow for this button as well. I'll just do the same for this contact button. All right now let's select all of this and let's bring it down a little bit. And I think this looks all right. All right, that's it with the light mode of our website. Now let's create the dark mode. So I'll just select this frame and press Alt and drag it over here to the right. All right, now this is really simple. We just need to make some minor changes over here. So the first thing we have to do is change the background color. So here, I'll just select this frame. And here for the fill, let's select our dark color. So let's go over here and uh, let's select this color right here. So this is going to be our background color. And let's change the color of all of this text to the light color. So I'll just change the fill to our light color over here. And we'll also invert these colors over here because uh, this is going to be our main button. So let's just interchange these colors. So I'll just select the light color over here. And for this one, I'll just select the dark color. And in the same way for this button, I'll just change this to the light color. And I'll just change this to the dark color. Right now, let's make changes to these menu items. So let's select all of these menu items. And let's change the color of the text to this uh, light color. And we'll also invert the color of this button. So I'll just change this to the light color and this to the dark color. Right now here, we need to bring this uh, light switch down and this dark switch up. So I'll just select this one. And we'll just set the opacity to 100%. And we'll change the color to this light color. And we had positioned it 16 pixels to the top. So let's bring it down 16 pixels. So here I'll just type plus 16 in the Y. And let's select the dark switch. And we'll just bring it up 16 pixels. So I'll just type minus 16. And we'll also set the opacity to 0. Alright, I think that's it with our dark mode. Now the last thing to do is add the prototyping. Here we can see we have this option called prototype. Let's select that. And uh, let's select this uh, dark switch from here. And I'll just drag it over here and bring it to this frame. And here we'll just keep it as on click. And instead of instant, I'll just change this to smart animate. And I'll just leave everything else as it is. and close this and we also need to change the name of this to dark mode All right now we need to do the same for the light switch so let's go over here and select the light switch and drag it over here to this frame and we'll just select smart animate and close it All right now let's see whether it works so let's click on this present icon 
and I'll just scale it down to fit. Right now, let's click on this uh, dark switch. And now we can see that our website has changed to the dark mode. And let's click on this light switch. And we can see that we have the light mode on. So everything is working all right. Now in the next video, we will convert this design to a real web page using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. All right, so that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the images and also the Figma file in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.